I know, it's been forever. Guys, I don't even know where to start. So I had to take a break. As you guys already know, I was in the middle of moving. I am finally in the United States. I have made it. Things have been quite hectic, nevertheless. So I'm going to try as much as I can to figure something out and just maybe do a live or something like that on Instagram to just catch everybody and just so that you guys can get up to date on how everything went with the move. I am safe in one piece. It was just super, super hectic and a lot of things going on and I really couldn't. I tried to be as prepared as I could, but at the end of the day, I just wasn't able to do it all. So in order for me to be able to manage it, I had to take a little bit of a break from the channel but I had a lot of content that I recorded for you guys before I left and I don't want to throw that content away because it's good stuff and I definitely want to make sure that I just share it with you guys so this is just a little intro to say hi how are you I miss you so so much I am going to be back I am a little bit settled in my new apartment here in Florida and I am just super excited and grateful that I finally made it it was a long long journey and a lot of ups and downs a lot of different Different things but anyways whoever's interested will just you know do a little get together on Instagram if you are not following me just make sure you follow me on Instagram but nevertheless the next few videos you're going to see for the next week or so or two or three I don't know how long it'll be before I can run out out of all of that content is gonna be content that I recorded back in Canada but really good content nevertheless I know that we are at the end of July and a lot of the summer perfumes and all of that are technically you know everybody's already thinking about fall but I will do my best to just zoom through the editing so that the little bit of time that we have left in the warm weather we can utilize but again I know that a lot of you are in warm weather I mean it's still 105 outside <laughs> it's crazy hot so I don't see myself wearing any fall perfumes anytime soon I just wanted to peek in and just say an updated hello and let you know what was going on and what you're about to see is content that I did film uh, about a month or two ago before I left and uh, I just again I did it with a ton of love and there's a lot of really good stuff that I really want to share with you and I don't want to throw it away so I hope you enjoy thank you so much for being patient thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being there and with that being said let's get the video started hello everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking in today's thumbnail today I want to share with you some of the fragrances that I'm super excited to wear and one of them is a recent recent add-on to my collection so it's kind of like a mini haul I guess so if that sounds interesting stay tuned so these are the fragrances that I'm dying to wear this summertime I think they're going to be amazing some of them are ones that I used to have last year and last summer and I was able to wear them a little bit others I was able to add them to my collection when it was in the winter time so I haven't used them technically full wears out and about and all of that because they're more summery and one of them is a fragrance that was on my wish list for the longest time and finally I added it to my collection but let's get started with one of my favorite that I had such a scared because I thought it was discontinued and I think they changed their mind and they brought it back so I'm super grateful Radiant Nectar by Clean guys <sighs> this guys this 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 is so so good so good this is the best to me summer clean from the reserve line period out of all of them I've been wearing clean fragrances for years 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 even before the reserve line even existed I'm talking about 17 18 years I've been wearing clean for a long long time ever since they came out I really enjoyed their scent profile it's something that I either layered with Contois Sud Pacific or I layered with something else but I just absolutely loved the clean feeling of these fragrances and when these clean reserved came out I honestly didn't like any of them until I put my nose on Radiant Nectar. This is the best, sweetest, honeysuckle Ambroxan fragrance that I've ever laid my nose on. <laughs> I absolutely love this fragrance this is fresh and sweet and powdery and cozy and clean but with a good touch of sweetness and just yumminess it's considered a floral woody musk but definitely you get a good amount of sweetness and the honeysuckle is just doing it for me and it opens up with pear 
and I'm gonna kick with pear. I love pear on fragrances. I think it's one of the juiciest, lightweight, fresh fruits, best for summertime. And the Ambrette and Ambroxan definitely gives it that clean, super long lasting, you know, Ambrette and Ambroxan feel that we all love so, so much. This is often compared to Glossier U, very similar to God is a Woman by Ariana Grande, which is one of the reasons why I didn't get that fragrance. That launched recently and I already had my bottle of Radiant Nectar. So if you like Ariana Grande, God is a Woman, you're going to love this because it's very, very similar. I just feel that this has way better performance, way better performance than God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. Not ditching anything, I just, I love the scent profile, but this one lasts longer. And I absolutely love it. This is my everyday easy grab. I don't need to think too much about it. It's definitely a no brainer. I can be out and about and I know I'm gonna feel good wearing this fragrance. And it's definitely a daytime fragrance. It's not a be small type of fragrance. So it can handle this super high heat really, really well, but still, it has a sweetness and it has a coziness about it that is so, so good. Cannot wait to wear this fragrance. Once again, Radiant Nectar by the House of Clean. The next fragrance is a fragrance that I got in the winter time, to be more precise, during Christmas time. And obviously it was a fragrance that I knew right away that it was going to be a spring, summer type fragrance, not necessarily, you know, Canada winters. So I said, okay, I'm gonna just put it away, but I'm so happy because I absolutely love it. This one is Rose Gold by the House of Tiffany & Co. Guys, if you know, you know, this fragrance is so beautiful. To me, it's the best of Tiffany that they have in the market at the moment. My favorite, for sure. So this is a fresh floral fruity, but it has black currant, it has rose, it has ambrette and a little bit of musk. And anything that has ambrette, just like Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar, it's just going to give you that freshness and it's going to give you like just that component that makes it feel so cozy but it lasts long and it's fresh and it's just a little bit addicting it's a very addicting fresh type of fragrance another fragrance that i would wear especially during the day you can wear it um in the evening time if you over spray so far when i've worn it in the house it lasts five six hours for the most part but it becomes a skin scent like after three hours and a half or so i absolutely love it this is fresh it's floral it's like the to me, it doesn't smell like Delina. It doesn't, I'm not even going to say that. But you know how that feeling you get when with Delina, it's like the rose that you can't wait to wear in the summer. It's sweet, it's rosy, but it's also like fresh. It's almost like with that vibe, but with different notes because the rose and the black currant and the ambre just takes it into a different direction. It doesn't have the same notes that Delina does, but I'm talking about the vibe and the mindset of like having a fresh, sexy, flirty rose that is a little sweet, that has a little something and it makes you feel pretty and exciting. That's how this makes me feel at least. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's very clean. It's very approachable. It's also an easy to wear, no brainer type fragrance. But to me, this is a little bit more dressy than clean reserve. That's a little bit more like everyday running around errands and this too, but I can push this fragrance a little bit more. This is more like an actual perfume. Like I can, you know, dress it up a little bit more. This particular fragrance and this bottle guys, I just, I just can't. So, so good. The fresh rose black currant I've been waiting to wear for the summertime. Once again, a rose gold by Tiffany & Co. The next fragrance is another floral, citrus, fruity fragrance that is ideal for this coming weather. And I feel that it just shines in the warmer weather. And this is Reckless by Roja or Essence de Parfum Roja. And I absolutely love, love this fragrance. Often compared to Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, which is very, very true. It's very, very similar to that scent profile. So if you enjoy that fragrance, you're definitely going to like Reckless. I don't necessarily like Neroli too, too much because it's a little bit bitter and I prefer uh, Orange Blossom, but in this composition, they just made it so, so good. I feel that you get that Memo, Centra, Love Don't Be Shy vibe with very, very similar scent profile, but obviously blended by the master Roja Parfum. This opens up with citruses. We got some great florals in the mid, and then at the base, we have vanilla and sandalwood, and it's very, very creamy. 
So although this is a super fun citrusy at the opening of this fragrance, it turns into a very cozy, floral, very fun, feminine composition that definitely makes you feel pretty, makes you feel put together, but not too much. It's not necessarily a super dressy fragrance. This is another fragrance similar to Rose Gold by Tiffany that I would wear in a casual slash dressy occasions. I wouldn't necessarily wear this with like shorts in a tank top but you know it's not necessarily a clubbing fragrance it's any somewhere in between and if you like love don't be shy and you were looking but you found that it's a little bit too expensive this is very much in the similar price point but it's 100 milliliters versus love don't be shy which is 50 ml it goes by super quick you know especially if you overspray you get a lot more bang for your buck with this one i don't know if centra is the same but i think centra there's something about centra that just in the dry down is very different than these two um, comparisons. I absolutely love it. This bottle is just everything. I love these little rhinestones that they have here. It has an incredible mist. It's just a fun, playful fragrance that I feel is very feminine. It makes you feel put together, but we're not trying too, too much. And I just can't wait to wear it. It's just summertime appropriate, it's springtime appropriate, not necessarily wintertime appropriate. So I was waiting for the warmer days in order to be able to enjoy it. Once again, this is Reckless by Roja Parfum. The next fragrance is another fragrance that I recently added to my collection. And a lot of you seem to be very much in agreement with me that it was a really nice fragrance and I could not wait for the warmer days to enjoy it. It's a floral aquatic that I feel is going to do amazing in the warmer days. And this is Fleur Terrible by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Guys, this blue bottle, I don't know what it is with me in blue. I just absolutely love it. It is so, so fun. So this is a very aquatic, very watery feeling type of fragrance. The same way you have a feeling that this looks like the ocean and you know, it's just, it looks like a pool. Like it definitely looks like when you're looking into a pool, that's the feeling you get when you're wearing this fragrance. According to Fragrantica, this composition only has water lily, iris, and vanilla, but I have a really hard time believing that. But definitely it gives you a really good idea. The iris here is not necessarily super lipsticky because the water lily keeps it super watery and cozy. I feel that this fragrance would do great in different scenarios. You can wear it super casual, you can wear it to a pool party, you can wear it a little bit dressier. I wouldn't necessarily wear it like clubbing or something like that, but you can definitely wear it in so many occasions. It has a really good performance of what I've been able to try so far. When I gave it a good test wear, it lasted on me a good six hours and you know, that's usually the amount of time that I'm out and about. And if I need to reapply, then I'll bring either the bottle with me or just a little decant. This is creamy, it's enveloping, it's water, it's very inviting. It's a super inviting fragrance. And I had, I was very skeptical about this fragrance. When I saw the promo, I just didn't think it was going to be anything. But once I smelled it, I really enjoy the fragrance. I know that some people are not so crazy about it. Other people are raving about it. So if you had the opportunity to smell it, let me know in the comments below. But I was waiting for the warmer days to really enjoy this fragrance 100%. I feel that it gives me very chill, you know, flowy linen clothing, you know, type of vibe and I can't wait. I can't wait. I absolutely love it. This is another super good contender for the warmer weather. La Belle Fleur Terrible by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Fragrance is another fragrance that I was raving about last summer and oh, guys, you know when you get these fragrances and you're not expecting much and then you smell them and you're like, wow, wow, what was I thinking? Thank God I didn't miss out on this one. And this one is Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. This is the creamiest sweetest coconut ever and I have a lot of coconuts some of you may know that <laughs> but I absolutely love this coconut for like a daytime when you're not trying too too much to have something that is too dressy now I know it's called Dolce Garden and I know that it's supposed to be you know floral obviously the cap is a flower but this is very much a coconut vanilla floral fruity fragrance and it's a little bit like tonic which makes it super creamy it's extremely tropical. So when you're thinking garden, think tropical garden. This would be the fragrance that I would take to like Bora Bora or like the Maldives. <laughs> That's exactly what I think when you wear this fragrance. Not because of the water. So this is not 
unlike Fleur Terrible, this is not like watery and crystalline. This is a little bit more creamy. This is a little bit more powdery. This is a little bit more enveloping, intoxicating, a little bit gourmand-ish, but in a tropical way. It has a Lang Ylang and Frangipani, so it definitely, you know that you're smelling a tropical fragrance. And the coconut here is very, very creamy. I love this fragrance, absolutely love it. I've smelled all of the ones from the Dolce line and to me, this is still my favorite one. This fragrance is incredible. Think, I think the one I have is a 50 ml because I wasn't 100% sure if I was gonna like it, but I love it and I definitely, next one I'm gonna get a 100 ml. This is a full bottle worthy, 100%. You're looking for your creamy tropical coconut for the summertime that is very just cozy and just like inviting this is yummy like my mouth waters when i smell this it's so so good and the price is really good you can get this fragrance for like pretty affordable or constantly having uh either gift set or anything like that like with lotion but this fragrance oh i haven't had the lotion but does anyone have the lotion let me know in the comments below i would love to have a lotion or a body butter or a cream that smells like this if not i'm gonna see if i can make some sort of concoction i'll let you guys know i keep you posted oh my god so so good one of the best the best top five coconuts in my collection dolce garden by dolce gabbana the last fragrance is a new 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 add-on to my collection i have been waiting for this fragrance for so long it's been on my wish list but it's pretty pricey and i was like oh, i'm just gonna wait and i'm just going to you know make sure that it's something that i really want i bought myself a decant and i went through that like in a month or something like that and even though it wasn't the you know right time of the year to wear it i was waiting for now to actually add it and actually when i was reviewing this fragrance i told you guys if anyone would guess what was going to be the next fragrance that i was going to be adding because it was already in the mail i knew it was coming that also had a brew bottle and uh, not many people you know participated and not many people just guessed and i was like okay well that's not so cool but you know maybe it's just hard to find you know more fragrances that are for women that are in a blue bottle blue i think it's more like green or anything like that but anyways i just try to make it make it fun and this one is greenwich village by bond number no. nine my very first bond fragrance out of the few that i've smelled this is one of the ones that i've had my nose on i remember that when i bought the decant for this i also bought a decant of tribeca and i don't like that one that was a big no-no but this guys when i tell you i was praying and praying and praying to be able to get this fragrance this is super hard to get here in canada and just you know i was trying to find a way to make it happen and uh this is airy and sexy and sweet but discreet but everything at the same time and i know a lot of people compare it to baccarat rouge 540. i'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room right away what are my thoughts about that i don't think that they're very much alike there is like a little something that tells you that it might potentially be similar to baccarat rouge 540 but this is not a dupe whatsoever this is super aquatic is considered an amber floral and i feel that the composition it may be a little bit similar but not a hundred percent this is i wouldn't even say 50 percent. this is just it has a little similarity very tiny similarity but in the dry down it totally changes it's not like br540 whatsoever so since i haven't shared this fragrance on my channel i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the notes on the main accords it's fresh floral fruity sweet musky amber vanilla tropical aquatic and powdery and then for the actual notes it starts with lychee cassis and mandarin orange middle notes peony water lily and jasmine that's where the freshness comes from from the water lily and for the base notes it has ambroxan praline vanilla musk and oak moss guys this fragrance is everything oh it's everything i think this is going to be my most worn fragrance in the summertime period i've been wanting to get this fragrance in my collection for so long guys i wanted it so so bad and i don't know if there are any bond uh, lovers there in the community they even have decorated bottles on their website and i don't know if you've seen that on their website they have decorated bottles either with the rim of the circle here the logo with swarovskis or the whole bottle with swarovskis obviously making the bottle cost over a thousand dollars like 
incredibly expensive, but oh man, is it gorgeous. This is sexy without trying too much. This is fresh, this is sweet. This is classy and sophisticated, sexy without trying too much. This is exactly what I would wanna smell like when I wanna be alluring, I wanna be very much attracting, but in a way that is very innocent. I love, love this fragrance. This is so good. The lychee is not scratchy whatsoever. The ambroxan is beautiful and the praline makes it so sweet and a little bit creamy, but the water lily makes it super watery and crystalline. It's just, it has it all. To me, this fragrance has it all. This is dangerous, guys, because I think this could definitely be top 10 or top five for life. This is like BR540, Passe Soir level in my collections. I, I have been dying to do that top 10 fragrances that you know would be like for life fragrances but i'm so scared because there are so many fragrances that we enjoy and there are so many fragrances that i know that i would want to have in my collection no matter what i don't know if i can do it under 10. <laughs> i'm gonna try let me know in the comments below if you want a top 10 video top 10 for life but i'm gonna try to do it but this is at that caliber it's definitely gorgeous 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 i know other people have reviewed it on the platform and other people have it i just I'm late to the game, you know, I'm late to the to the party. I absolutely love, obsessed, obsessed with this fragrance. This, it's unexplainable. So, so good to another level. Once again, this is Greenwich Village by Bond number no. nine. All right, those were all my fragrances that I am so excited to wear this summertime. I could not wait to wear them. Let me know in the comments below what are your fragrances that you are dying to wear this summertime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You know the drill. If you haven't subscribed, please consider joining the Scented Tribe. We are very cool over here, constantly posting videos to entertain you and just bring a little sunshine to your life. So until the very next time, bye-bye.